on today's episode of Book the U.S. My name is Cameron Phillips, and this summer, Booking.com sent me on a quest to find the most unique properties around the United States. This is the adventure of a lifetime with properties so amazing that you'll never want to stay in a regular hotel again. With this series, I'm offering everyone $30 of free travel credit on Booking.com to jumpstart your adventure. Make sure to use the link in my bio to get your free $30. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode, and follow me on Instagram to see more of these iconic properties. Hi everybody, welcome back to Book the US. Today we are exploring the amazing state of Wyoming. We're in Jackson Hole, staying at an incredible rustic inn along the banks of a river. We're exploring Yellowstone National Park, and we're also going to the top of the Jackson Hole gondola to eat an amazing meal. It's an exciting vlog, I'm so happy you guys are here. First of all, thank you guys so much for your continued support of this series. It's meant a lot to me. This has been one of my favorite things ever to edit. It's now currently October, as you guys can probably tell. I've been working away editing nonstop every day. I'm really excited to share these stories with you because it's, it's so much fun. So for this vlog, I don't have as many clips of me actually talking about it in person, but I have some amazing footage and some incredible stories, so I'm here to share it with you now. So our property for the state of Wyoming was the Rustic Inn and Spa, right on the outskirts of downtown Jackson Hole the outskirts of downtown. Does that make any sense? The town of Jackson, Wyoming is a small little resort mountain town that has an abundance of amazing restaurants and shops. It's very, very cute. I love it. I love Jackson. Our resort was walking distance to the downtown core. It was probably like a 10 minute walk down the street and it was actually a collection of little cabins situated on this stunning property and right in the backyard was this lazy river that meandered through. It was so beautiful. Our first mission when we got to Jackson Hole was eat and we ate at this amazing sushi restaurant. King Sushi in Jackson, Wyoming. It was amazing. We had an incredible meal. It was so nice. We ate amazing food in Jackson. But our first full day in Jackson started with an almost customary trip to Yellowstone National Park, about an hour and a half north from the highway, and it is a stunning drive at that. So on our adventure to Jackson, Wyoming, we've made our way north to Yellowstone National Park, which is about two hours up the road past Tito National Park and then into the iconic Yellowstone. It was the first national park in the U.S., has some of the richest history and some of the most unique features too because the geothermal activity in the region. With that being said, we've arrived in the park and we're off to see Grand Prismatic Spring, which I've never seen before. So the spring itself was actually super beautiful because there's this terrace layer of rock with like orange streams coming out and it's like this rich, deep, beautiful blue. I've never been, I've been here before in 2016. I came and did an adventure film in Yellowstone and I never actually saw Grand Prismatic, so it's super cool to see that. We're gonna keep making our way through Yellowstone. I think we're gonna head around to the canyon area now, to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. It's a gorgeous day, it's warm. It's a little hazy though, because we have that forest fire smoke still up there. But it's amazing seeing this park because I love Yellowstone and has this different sense about it because it has those geothermal features which is really unique in the national park system and it really just it brings out different features that you don't see in other places. So that's why I love Yellowstone and I'm super excited to be here today. We've made it to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone now, which is the second stop of our day today. It is super busy in the park because it's like peak summer season right now, but this is a super beautiful waterfall. I'm so excited to go see this. Um, and Danian's first time. The canyon, like the rock is so beautiful. It's really like a, a kind of a magical place. We're trying to park right now though. As you can see, there's a ton of people. Also guys, um, this park is like very big. Like it takes longer to get from place to place on this road that I had originally remembered. Like we left Jackson around 11.15 this morning, it's 3.45 p.m. now. Um, and we've only really seen the Grand Prismatic and um, now this falls. But the whole thing, like what's so beautiful about this area is that just the drive from Jackson up to Yellowstone is like phenomenal, stunning. And the drive like up between, like through the park. Like, it just It's really gorgeous to see the country. We saw those elk, super beautiful. Hopefully we'll see some more wildlife. And that's the whole thing. It's like, yeah, there's things to see here, but just the drive around and experiencing it that way is also super beautiful. So we're doing good. Okay. 
Okay, the falls were phenomenal. We ended up at a part that I was a little confused. We ended up being at the brink of the lower falls, which means we're on the edge of it, where the water actually comes over the cliff, down into the actual waterfalls, and it was amazing. I've never actually walked down to that place before. Seeing the water tumbling off the edge was phenomenal. It was so thick and powerful, and I honestly, I realized why it's called Yellowstone National Park, because the rock is yellow. It is so much more yellow than like Utah or Arizona. That more has the orangey red. This is like literally yellow stone. Crazy, right? Anyways, it's been fun. We're gonna start our trek back down the loop. The whole middle of the park is essentially a giant loop. Um, we got a bit of driving to go. So we're gonna hopefully we see some more wildlife. That's what we're really kind of here for right now. So that would be the tea. But yeah, gorgeous day. And as we made our way back to Jackson, we passed the stunning Teton Range in all its beauty, just as the last golden rays of the day wash over the iconic. Now our next day in Jackson was pretty chill. We ended up going to the activity center located at the resort and we picked up some tubes and you can actually go and kind of just like float in the lazy river right in your backyard. It was amazing. We hopped in the water, floated around. It was absolutely stunning. It was a nice warm summer day, like quintessential summer. So we're here in our hotel room now. This is the Rustic Inn and Lodge. This is pretty cool because we have lights on this side lights on that side, I mean skylights, so we have so much natural light coming in. For tonight, we head up the Jackson Hole Gondola, it's something I've always wanted to do. We have dinner reservations up there at the top tonight. Should be beautiful, super, super excited. This morning's been getting a little bit of work done, doing some little like housekeeping things of our trip, trying to figure out some little things. Um, yeah, because you know, even though you see us like on the road every day and you know, I'm like weeks behind on um, like the vlogs. Weeks behind? It's literally the middle of October. I'm like editing them and like the photos like kind of did behind because there's like so much content. I have so much content from this trip so far, which is iconic. And I'll probably do like writing blog posts and like doing more videos and photos for like the next year, honestly, after this, which is pretty cool. So with that being said though, there is a lot of things to kind of manage, a lot of like we're trying to find activities and I have a whole film crew coming for like the next, um, the next property we're at. We have a little mini trip in between that. It's just a lot of moving parts, right? So the moment that I've been waiting for is finally here. We're on our way to the Jackson Hole gondola to go up to the top of the ski mountain. This is one of the most probably iconic visions of Jackson Hole, this big red gondola swinging over the hillside. I am so excited to go and experience this. I've never actually done it before. We have dinner reservations at the place at the top at 8.15. We'll have some time to explore beforehand. We're gonna drive over there. We're in the town of Jackson. This is Teton Village. It's like 25 minutes over around the bend. Ah, I'm so excited for this. So we've made it to the base. It is the most beautiful evening. The sun is about to go behind the mountain. We're gonna head up on the gondola now and see the views. I've never been to the base before. It's stunning. I've never been here, no, I've only been to the oh. town of Jackson. I've never actually been to the ski resort side. Okay, so we made it to the gondola. We are on our way up the mountain. It should be a really good view tonight because it's been super, like, kind of foggy. Or well, There's been a lot of smoke in the air from the forest fires in California and Oregon and Washington. So the, a little bit of wind came through this afternoon and actually cleared things up. I would love to ski here one day. This looks like an amazing place to ski. I've heard legendary things about this mountain. It seems phenomenal. So I'd love to come back in the winter and ski in the next like, year or two. That would definitely be like very high on my list. But as we're working our way up, we're gonna see the Teton Valley behind us, the town of Jackson way over there. Super beautiful, I'm very excited. <laughs> This restaurant was phenomenal. Number one, the views were extraordinary. Sitting at the top, we had a beer and a cocktail and looked out over the amazing vistas. We're at about 9,000 feet of elevation, so it was considerably colder up there, but the views were spectacular. We had this incredible wild mushroom. What was it? Enyoloti? It was some kind of Italian pasta. It was phenomenal. We had grilled octopus. We had a local green salad, which sounds so unremarkable, but it was amazing because the greens were picked that morning from this fertile valley in Idaho across the border. It was. It was so good. It was so, so, so good. Uh, yeah, beautiful experience at Peace Mountain Beach. So if you're in the Jackson area, I would 100% recommend making the trek to the ski resort, going up the free gondola and eating there. It was well worth it. It was not outrageously priced. It was very, very good. We had an amazing time in Jackson. It was a great 
Well, I guess really in Wyoming, because we went to Yellowstone, we were in Teton, we went to the parks. It was such a great time. I love being in this area. This is probably my favorite time that I've been through this region. I'm excited to come back and explore more in the future. And I'm excited to show you guys the next episode of Hashtag Book the US. In the next episode, we're on our way to Utah for a crazy adventure and the start of probably the most shocking three episodes of this entire series. Unfortunately, it's been canceled because I really have no idea what they want. Realize we're about 12 miles from the back gate, so we're gonna caravan over there and see if we can find something. I'm shook. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for being a part of this family and for continuing to watch the videos. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I can't wait to share with you. Bye bye.